Welcome to Mother Daughter Projects. I'm Vicki. While shopping at Joanne Craft Store, I noticed there was an epoxy section. As luck would have it, the silicone molds were on sale. I decided to buy a couple to try them out. Since I've been wanting to make an epoxy tray for my coffee area, I thought this rectangular one would work perfectly. I'm going to be trying a new technique using a toy bubble blower and bare spray paint in my favorite Tropics color in a gloss finish. Pointing the bubble toy downward, I filled the mold with bubbles and then before too many burst, I quickly spray painted them. Then I added a few more bubbles on top of the paint. I let this dry about 20 minutes, then I took it to the sink and washed away the soapy bubbles. Let it air dry or carefully pack dry. Joanne sells epoxy, but I'm using Total Boat Tabletop Epoxy, which I have found to work really, really well. I've tried a lot of different ones, but always come back to Total Boat. With the epoxy mixed according to package directions, I added the first layer of Total Boat, making sure to spread it evenly and popping the air bubbles with a heat gun. One stubborn air bubble persisted, so I took care of that with a toothpick. And for a little bling, I'm adding some holographic glitter before the first layer of epoxy dries. This is the first time trying these Park Lane silicone molds. They're adequate, but this one does have wonky sides. I tried to straighten out the short edges by propping them up with pieces of wood. You can see that that front edge is pretty flimsy, making the front edge curve in places. While that first layer dried, I started to prep the small pieces of wood I was adding to give a little rustic natural look. I knew they'd have excess loose sparks. I put them in a strainer and gently shook them to remove the small broken pieces of bark. Next, I mixed up another layer of Total Boat, spread that out, and added the small wood pieces. I started out adding them carefully, then decided to just throw them in and adjust them to be right side up later. I used a Rockler silicone tool to push each one down into the epoxy to fully cover them. After that layer dried, I filled the mold with water and then put that into a measuring cup to see how much more epoxy I needed to completely fill the rest of the mold. Before pouring that last layer, I used canned air to be sure the area was free of dust. One last pour, smoothing and removal of air bubbles. Now the best part, unmolding! Despite being spray painted, the silicone mold is clean. The spray paint on the edges can be removed with a little rubbing alcohol. I used a fine grit sandpaper to remove these areas of ragged epoxy. I added wood feet to the bottom, which I spray painted in the same color as the bottom of the tray. For the finishing touch, I made epoxy spoons to use as handles. First, I sprayed the bare spray paint into a container and used a fine tapered brush to outline the edges of the mold. I poured in the same Total Boat Epoxy and let them dry. I attached them with contact adhesive using a wood piece as a spacer under the front and back of each spoon to give the handles a bit of height. The handles are to pull the tray forward rather than to lift it up. It makes me happy to see this first thing in the morning. It's pretty and sparkly and functional. Thanks for joining. If you want to see more projects from us, be sure to visit us at motherdaughterprojects.com and subscribe right here on YouTube by clicking that bell. You'll get notifications of all our future projects.